about a case study of cultivation so it's a very important case study for agriculture dragon fruit cultivation this dragon fruit is also known as super fruit kamalam in india queen of night pitaya then it is also called as strawberry pear and noble woman why it is called as queen of night is important because the pollination occurs during night by bats and that's the time where the flower opens it is hermaphrodite that means both the flowers are present on the same flower and then on the same plant and then the pollination takes place so this dragon fruit cultivation in india so far only 3300 hectares of land is cultivated uh, under dragon fruit government aims to increase it to 50000 hectares a very high spike that we want in dragon fruit cultivation now this is a very fast growing fruit uh, it the cultivation starts from the very first year 20 years is the life span for this tree every year from the monsoon till the month of december is the season for uh, the plants to occur on one acre of land nearly 1700 plants can be grown and this plant is very specific because it is a cactus now since it is a cactus it can grow in dry soils a desert area and is highly suitable for country like india where we have a huge expansion of desert in the regions of thar slightly acidic soil is good for cultivation of dragon fruit now what are the health benefits of dragon fruit the health benefits of dragon fruit are in itself one of the reasons for its promotion so far vietnam is one of the leading producers with around 60000 hectares of land followed by china with around 40000 hectares of land and india imports around 15 15000 tons of dragon fruit if we increase the cultivation within the country we can actually have reduction in the import but at the same time we can have a good contribution in our exports as well vietnam has a significant proportion of gdp coming from export of dragon fruit so similar things can be replicated in india uh, now health benefits it is good for people with uh, uh, diabetes so it is good for diabetes it lowers cholesterol it has high amount of zinc and therefore has healing capacity has antioxidants it is good for arthritis improving the heart health managing the weight of an individual preventing asthma and helps in uh, fighting uh, the the diseases that is provides a good immunity response so those are some of the key health benefits of this fruit as we said vietnam is one of the major countries followed by china thailand and sri lanka israel where a huge cultivation is done now three types in which this um, dragon fruit appears one is yellow skin with white flesh the second is red is uh, red is skin with red flesh and the last one is red is skin with white flesh so those are the three types the temperature in which it is grown is around 20 to 30 degree celsius tropical climate conditions are ba best for it sandy soil with organic manure is a extremely good uh, place where dragon fruits can cultivate cow dung is extremely useful for cultivation uh, any organic compost also works well now uh, as we saw in the first page coming back here you can see there are rcc uh, stands on which there is a ring shaped the structure because it is a vine it grows on those rcc structures and it requires strong rcc structures for its durability to grow on to that now this whole installation if we want about a plantation for this requires around 3 to 4 lakh of expenditure which is indeed a big amount for india now when uh, the cuttings are planted the composition is important for example the cow dung to top soil to the sand should be mixed in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 2 and this combination would give a best output less water is required and it is less expensive to grow the overall establishment requires cost but once it is done then the running cost are relatively low you have flowers every year and for 20 years this would be uh, there the plant would be there it is called as kamalam and it is also called as a super fruit so government from maharashtra and gujarat state specifically are giving huge incentives for growth gujarat government has renamed this as kamalam that is lotus it looks similar 
similar to lotus and therefore has been called as kamalam now under the mission for uh, integrated development of horticulture dragon fruit is one of the crops that is promoted uh, india imports as i said nearly 15000 tons of dragon fruit that import dependence could be reduced at as of now in market it goes at around 400 rupees per kg this could be reduced to 100 rupees per kg with increasing in the plantation area in one acre as we said nearly 1700 plants can grow and the establishment cost is around 3 to 4 lakh but once done it can come up with um, other crops like moringa which are shade bearing plants so the shade bearing plants are important 20 to 30 percent area should be under shade and this would be a very important uh, uh, issue to address so moringa is one of the common crops which is grown with it and as i said the pollination occurs during night the flowers are nocturnal they open during night and it is that it is at that time that mainly bats and sometimes hawk moths also pollinate this uh, dragon fruit flowers so that was a brief introduction about it why government is giving incentives for promotion of dragon fruit and how it can be enhanced further is extremely important a very important case study for agriculture for organic uh, farming and the mission for integrated development of horticulture so under any of these topic if you have a question for your mains answer writing this is a very important case study that you can introduce we'll be covering many such important sessions for your UPSC important for your prelims as well as mains and the important links for your mains preparation are available in the description thanks for joining in